and see what's going to happen. I'm just going to ask him. That's his idea. If he wants to go or he doesn't want to go. Ready now. Okay, so let's go. Coming. Very good. You want it one more time? Prove them wrong. We can do it. Let's go. Get it. Very good boy. Trying to try to try. Very good. Very nice. Ask him go inside. Beautiful. Very nice. Continue traveling. Very nice. That's our goal today. Ask. Very to good. ask her to go there, but it's going to be her decision to come inside. That's a very important for us to understand. It's my decision to ask her go there but it's her decision to go inside. I just inviting her go there, okay? So I'm gonna just say, and I'm gonna step back and see what's gonna happen. If we done so much previous education, it should very nice, it should work, very good. Again, right here, right now, not allowed to clap. She have to go on her own right there. On her own, that's her confidence. That's what she wants to do. Beautiful. And when animal, animal, any animal, dog, cat, bird, horse, decide on his own to go there, they're gonna be mentally happy in the future. And, uh, what are you doing here, okay? Come on, let's go. So with Louis, it's exactly the same like any horse. We teach horses to turn inside, turn outside, stop and face. And Louis, he's a very, very sensitive horse and he have, if something going very beyond his, his uh, emotions, he is a uh, little bit confused and upset and et cetera. So, So for me, it's important he understand what I teach in him. So he is not falling apart. And because again, if I write, that's the differences. Because with Louis, if I will, I can apply my body energy right now in my, my body language. But if I clack Louis uh, and put my energy with my voice, Louis nostrils right away open up. He will start right away get what's going on, I am very nervous, right? And he's gonna start to go backwards. So his emotions gonna raise up so high and then the mental ability disappear. Then physical ability stands, then communication completely uh, disappear between me and Louis. So he, I, this method's exactly the same, what I'm trying to say. Methods you can apply exactly the same, but each horse they have their own potential, mental and physical, and you have to know where to increase your energy, when to remove your energy. Uh, but again, in my philosophy, that's not physical pressure, not physical touch on the horse, because horse have skin, nerves, uh, emotions, you're gonna start to apply physical pressure, that's just domination and pressure and release. Like, and I said before, I don't believe in pressure and release, it's just, Surviving instinct and, and submission, nothing else. Turn around. Voice. Voice coming right here. I'm gonna spend time a little bit with him in a trailer. So he have to have confidence and be nice and relaxed. So it's not just go, 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 go to the trailer. Pay attention, you probably hear from the, my microphone how he breathes and how he remove his anxiety. So it's, it's uh, very important to, to notice all these 
body language of the horse, okay? So he's very, like, all the time. He's a, he's a speed-bred horse, so he's very alert. He see every detail on this trailer, every movement. So even I change my jeans, and he already noticed. Like, he smell right away my jeans. So that's kind of horse he is. So if you're going to push him just physically, with pressure and release, and using surviving instinct, he will be completely falling apart and, and be very, very nervous. Okay, so let's go. You coming? Very good. You want to one more time? Prove them wrong. We can do it. Let's go. Get it. Very good boy. This last last step, I have to little bit just please step in there. So it's again, it's a lot of feelings between the animal and the human. Very good job, boy. I'm very, very proud of you. Good boy, baby. Good boy. Sweetheart. Yes, sweetheart. Let's go. Very good boy. Very nice. Let's go. A lot of times when horses, uh, they're backing up, they're rushing, and they're just raising head up in the air and pulling back. So I teach horses not only, not only to travel forward out of trailer, but also you can go backwards out of trailer and be nice and relaxed. Very nice. So all the time, just mixing up from him so he can truly understand trailer it's just a game nothing else right here he's stuck I use my voice command not sweep the rope you're gonna swing the rope behind the horse hind horse that's again pressure and release again surviving again surviving instinct horse only going forward because it's gonna be applying pressure with the rope to the horse skin and the mental abilities, nothing else. That's again, it's just my philosophy. And uh, that's how I think about the animals. And it's a lot of work in wolf. It's not just uh, happen overnight. It just takes a lot of hard work to accomplish this. More, more. Right here. A lot of hard work every day, five, six days a week, hours and hours of hard work. And that's the result you get. That's all. Beautiful. Today it's our last day of uh, education. In the third level, develop confidence and solid mind. And it's a final goal, our final goal to educate horse to actually to load it to the trailer. 
And we're going to use all our methods, what we educate course in the previous levels from foundation program. And we're going to start to combine them. And really, you already, true grid members, know very well what kind of methods we need to educate horse travel consistent and consistently for motion. How to educate horse to stop and stay still with front end and with hind end. How to educate horse travel through the narrow situation so horse mentally actually understand physical exercise. Speed control, extending touch, extending touch in front of the horse, go through the loud objects, travel with loud objects, go through the objects. All this education, I'm not going to remind you all steps because you know all of them, but all this education we done with Slash. So today it's his final exam. We're going to put all the education what we practice with him and going to put towards his mental abilities to educate and to travel and go to understand. That's very important what I'm going to say right now, to understand mentally, to go inside of the steel box. I'm going to explain you a little bit my philosophy, how I think about um, develop confidence and solid mind in the horse mental abilities when we're educating horse loaded to the trailer. Because to educate horse travel inside of the confined section like a trailer, horse have to have a lot of confidence and a lot of education before this final goal. Because if horse cannot understand how to travel forward motion freely, without halter and without rope and without a whip, and without throwing lasso on his hind quarters, horse already will gonna lose his confidence because we're gonna go after horse physically. We're gonna apply physical pressure to educate horse travel forward motion. When we're gonna apply physical pressure, we destroyed actually horse mental abilities because he is using surviving instinct to travel and submit to us to travel forward motion, left and right direction. And we already know how to educate horse to travel forward motion, this body language, voice command, and our presence. So horse truly understand and understand differences in the speed, walk, trot, and lope. We teach horse how to stop in faces with front end. We teach horse to turn inside, and we teach horse to turn outside and face us with hind hand, and I explained how important in previous lessons, how important to educate horse to face us with hind quarters. Because uh, we, can, we can put bridle on the horse, we can put saddle on the horse, but also we're gonna brush the horse tail, we're gonna groom his feet, we will gonna walk behind the horse hind quarters, other riders gonna ride behind the ho horse hind quarters. So horse have to be very confident and safe for, for, for us, from his muzzle to his hind hoof. So our goal to develop this confidence, not using surviving instinct by apply physical pressure so he can submit to go inside of this, to this trailer because it's a not other choice for him just to go there or make his physical abilities tired so he can say, okay, finally I will gonna go inside there. Our goal to actually use the methods, actually use physical exercises and explain horse mentally what we desire from him. But again, if we just going to put horse in the pen right now and start to run in a circle and turn inside and turn outside and start to load him inside of this trailer, that's will never gonna work. That's gonna be exactly the same pressure and release physical pressure from the human and you have to submit to me. So we have to finish a lot of preparation and education, spend a lot of time. That's why it's called foundation program. And you practice all these levels with your horses till finally you got to this level. And horse will understand mentally how to go inside, understand your voice command, trust you, 
body language, trust with body language, with your energy, trust with your energy. He become your partner. He truly understand what you desire from him. So you can see right now I set up round pen and I put trailer. Open, open the gate and put a trailer there. Why I'm not using, that's another very important, very important point right now. Why I'm not using halter and horsemanship rope to make horse travel, to make horse travels on the trailer. Why are you using round pen? Because when I strict in his mental and physical abilities with halter and horsemanship rope, again, it's a surviving instinct. He can drag me across the arena, across the field, across the round pen, till I'm gonna hold down on his face, till finally he gonna go inside of this trailer. Right here, horse have option. Without a halter and horsemanship rope, he have an option to travel away from this trailer, hide from this trailer, change direction, run very fast. I cannot strict in him physically. Yes, I can strict in him with his panels because he cannot run far away from these panels. That's just 50 feet right here, and he can work with me in this 50 feet. But I let him. I don't want to touch him physically. I don't want to connect to him physically. I want he use his full potential of his mental abilities. And he truly understand by himself, control his own emotions, and by himself travel inside of the steel box. Because we talked about this already before, bull whip, gun, flag. And I explained, a horse have to be free. So he truly develop his emotion and his own, not stricting him with the tool. So what our f first goal to actually to teach horse to load it to the trailer? Trailer, he have to travel the left and right direction if horse will gonna start to lean and snore and lean outside of the trailer, it's already telling me he don't have confidence with this trailer. I already skip some point of his education. I have a gap, I have a hole in his education. If I have this goal, but I have previous methods, go beside the tarp, go with narrow situations, go near situations with loud sound. So I done a lot of education, narrow, narrow spot between two tarps, it's not different than trailer. So if I don't finish my previous education, and again, it was everything without halter, without ropes. If horse truly understand how to travel to the left and to the right, and not afraid this trailer, that's already telling me he have confidence with this new object in the round pen. So let's start and just work right now this first step and see how my horse can actually pass this trailer and what kind of work we done in previous education if horse truly have this confidence with this steel box. Again, I'm gonna point, I'm gonna ask my horse travel, walk away from me, and horse don't have to run. He can just walk, that's our goal right now. You have to travel to the left and not to stop. Be consistent and consistently on your brain because what we're teaching him right now, we're teaching him to run or we're teaching him to understand you can pass by beside each object and control your emotions. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for the speed right now. Again, horse travel very nicely. And I want him to be very consistent. Pay attention on his, on his body language. Horse passing by beautifully, very nice. Again, very nice. Can I stop my horse? Again, stop and face me and fix your shoulder slash. Beautiful, and we've done this education many, many, many times, many times in our Discover Philosophy Methodology in Round Pen to develop this consistency and develop this relaxation. So when we're done to the left, we're gonna do exactly the same to the right. If we, if we skip speed control in a, in a round pen education from the first level, discover first methodology round pen, of course not understand travel on the walk, trot and lope, and he just running because you're applying pressure, physical pressure behind his hindquarters. 
that will never work. He will, worry be, uh, he will worry about this pressure. He will run and run because you're applying pressure. Again, we're going to change direction. Point. And we want our horse to travel nice and relax. Beautiful. Just nice and relax right here. It's a lot of confidence right now. Very nice. I'm very, very pleased and happy to see how Slash progressing right now. But again, it's a daily education, daily education, every day, every day, five, six days a week. We're working on this education. We combine methods together. We bring everything together. So finally, horse develops this confidence. Very nice, beautiful. And I'm gonna say, can you stop right here, Slash, and stay still? Beautiful, but in the same time, I'm gonna right now mix the step. I said, you stay in there. Can you come to me and stay with me? And we talk a lot about this in the previous education, how important not to let horse to come to you whatever horse desire and not to face with your back and etc. Horse truly have to understand when you're teaching him to stay, when you're teaching him to come, when you're teaching him come to, to him and he have to be very confident with this, okay? And I explained before how much join up in the round pen creates so many problems in the communication between horseman, horsewoman, and horse. So after we apply physical pressure in their chin and the chest and the front legs to teach him step away from you, but reality we let, we teach horse to come to you whatever horse desire come to you. So after we try to fix that back, to our horse and say, you're not allowed to come to you. So from Discover Philosophy Methodology Round Pen, we educate horse. You can stay where I ask you to stay still. You can come to me when I ask you to come to me and be with me. And in the same time, in the same time, we teach horse to, we can come towards the horse and horse have to be nice and relaxed. That's a whole goal of education for horse mentally, mentally actually understand physical exercise. Beautiful, very nice. So now we've done consistent and consistently forward motion and the speed control and walk to teach horse go to the left and teach horse to the right besides this object. So now our goal to educate horse to actually stop and face beside the trailer, face us with front end. So when he stop and he facing the trailer with facing us and facing trailer with hind quarters, he developing confidence, staying and accept this trailer when this trailer staying behind him. How many horses cannot accept loud sounds, moving object, object when it's happened behind his hind quarters? So that's it. But we've done all this again in the previous education. We not just grab the horse, put here, and start to just introduce the trailer. We've done a lot of steps. So again, we're gonna we're gonna send the slash towards towards the trailer and ask him to stop and face. I'm gonna give you one more tip. To physical pressure and release, that's a, we want to, we want to resolve today. We want to resolve now. Education, true education, takes a lot of time and a lot of hard work till finally we educate the horse. So, if again, I come back and say again, it's all true great members, I'm saying this so you can understand this when you're working with your horses. It takes time to develop this. What we're doing right now on the first day of this trailer, it is first day, but it is a lot of, a lot of hard work and education before this. So again, I'm gonna send slash to the right, to the right, right here right now again to the right to the right continue travel and i'm going to stop and facing him 
forward motion, stop and facing him right here beside the trailer. So trailer will gonna be behind his hind course. That's my goal. That's what I truly want to see. If he come to me right now, I said no, slash. I don't ask you to come to me. Please step away from me. Come back where I ask you to be before. And stop and face me and stay still and fix your shoulder right here and stay still. Horse develop patience, horse develop relaxation, horse develop confidence with this new object behind his back. Very nice, very beautiful work. I'm very happy to see this. And it's very important for us right now to stay still and spend this time right now and relax with my horse so horse truly will develop confidence with the trailer. That's what we're actually teaching horse. Develop confidence. You have to be confident with hindquarters towards this steel box, and you have to be confident with your front end to the steel box. When we're done all this together, then we're going to ask him to come inside. Beautiful. So we teach horse, remember in the previous steps, we teach horse to face us with hind end. So we're going to do exactly the same right now. We're going to say slashy. You will face this trailer right now with front end and face me with hind end. Again, I'm going to say right here. Face me with front end. Again, mistake. Change. Change right here. Continue work. And face with front end. And stay. 90 degrees towards. Can my horse stay in steel and I can apply extended touch? Absolutely right, because we've done so many work with extended touch. So again, horse have to stay still right now and not to fall apart and face this trailer, develop this confidence right here, beautiful. I allow to come to horse the hindquarters right now because we've done previous education, develop confidence be horse hind end. And I explained you before how important to educate horse to, to faces with hind quarters because we're going to do a lot of work around the hind end and in our life and be around the horse hind quarters. And other people, animals, kids, other horses will be behind the horse hind quarters. So horse have to be very confident. So when my horse stands still and relaxed like this, I'm going to say, Amazing, that's what I want to see from you. Right now, Slash, I would like to. <laughs> Remember when we saddle Slash the first time? We use exactly the same, stop and face, turn inside, turn outside. And actually when we saddle horse the first time, horse come to us to put saddle on. We didn't walk to horse. And again, no halter, no ropes. So again, I'm going to face me, face horse with front towards me. Again, right here, face me with front end, and stay still, not move an inch, beautiful. When he's staying and relax right here, right now, can I walk towards my horse? Absolutely, yes. If I have to put my eyes down and look left and right and hide myself, absolutely not. Because again, we've done this education, we teach horse when horsemen allowed come towards the horse and be with horse. And horse accept energy presence of the human. Very good boy. And again, that's a two and a half years old stallion and slash very, very interesting individual to work with. And you, if you're not a true grid member and you see this video, you can follow slash uh, and uh, daily education, daily education in True Great Academy and see how each method and connect to each other and how we educating him and <laughs> how wild he was when we just start to work with him. So all this, it's right there in front of you. Beautiful. So now, that's a very interesting, very interesting answer will be right now. I'm going to take a horse right now. I'm going to say, you go right there and you're gonna stop and face. And I'm gonna open up the trailer. And I'm gonna ask him to travel consistent and consistently and see 
if he will going to go on his own right there. We're not going to ask him to travel consistent and consistently. I'm going to step away. That's his place. That's his aura, energy, because he has to be confident by himself to go inside. I don't have to tap on him or apply the pressure to make him go forward because I want he go on his own inside. So again, ask slash step away. Step away. Step away, right here, beautiful, continue travel. Very nice, continue travel. Very good, beautiful, continue travel. Very good boy, continue travel. Continue travel, very good boy. And now I'm gonna ask my horse to stop and face and fix your shoulders. Fix your shoulders more and stay still. So my horse have to stay still 100% right now. Doesn't matter what I'm doing in round pen. And we talk about this a lot in the previous education. So right now I'm gonna open up the trailer. So we open trailer right now. So my goal right now Let's hope for the best that's all going to work, okay? So, reality, I want his mental understanding, his own, to go right there. So, I'm going to just ask him to travel forward motion and going to step away and see what kind of horse he is. But I'm going to remind you guys again, if you don't finish, I all the time remind you, if you not finish all previous education very well, that will never going to work. You have to spend a lot of, a lot of hours and hard work to educate horse to communicate with you this way. Again, I'm going to ask slash travel in forward motion. And I'm going to step away and see what actually will going to happen. Pay attention to his ears. If I allow it right now to clock to make him travel forward motion, absolutely not. Because if I'm going to clock right now and ask him to go inside, that will be no different than pressure and release right now. That's his idea right now on his own. I just send him the signal, I give him a signal, you have to go inside, I ask you, nothing else. He have to go on his own. Right here, that's my goal. That's confidence. That's not pressure and release. That's confidence. And I, many times, through the education, I explain, I do not believe in the pressure and release. And my philosophy and my methods, not when we communicate with horses on the ground or we educate them to ride. Because horses have mental abilities and physical abilities. Have to have, horses have to understand and develop physics on the ground, balance, coordination, confidence, and muscle memory, that's very important, and exactly the same under saddle. Not soft hands, not pressure and release, will not gonna educate muscle memory. That's not possible. Beautiful, very nice. Only physical exercise will develop muscle memory. If horse understand physical exercise, they will, he will develop mental abilities. Very nice. Now my horse staying inside, can I ask my horse to come out from the trailer? Again, if I don't have consistent and consistently forward motion, he will never gonna come out from the trailer. I'm gonna say, <coughs> ask him to come out from the trailer. <coughs> right here, again, wait. And again, change direction. If you face me with hind end, I'm going to say no. Face me with front end. 
That's a stop and face right now working, right here. Beautiful. And again. Right here. And horse went. And I'm going to say no. Not back to the trailer. Step away. And come back where it was before. Again. So let's see if it was actually it was actually a mistake or it's happened randomly or horse truly actually has his confidence. Okay, all the steps working actually. Again, stop and face. Fix your shoulders. And we're going to ask him from different direction go on the trailer again. And see what's going to happen. I'm just going to ask him. That's his idea if he wants to go or he doesn't want to go. Very nice, beautiful. Very nice job. Very happy to see this. Can I walk inside with my horse if he have confidence? Very good boy, baby. Very good boy. Yes, you are. Face me. Right here. Very nice. Good boy, baby. Good boy. Very nice. Very good boy. And I'm going to ask him to come out again. Again, change the sides. Again, change the sides. Again, change. He faced me with high end. I'm going to say no. Face me with front end. Right here. Beautiful. Very good. And again, a lot of confidence. And said, you have to come out. Right here. Coming out. Right here. Very nice. And again. Very good boy. Very nice. Can you come to me? Very good. Very nice. So that's how much, how much hard work we spend so horse truly understand when I ask him with my hand come to me, when I ask him to travel forward motion. We develop so much, so much education with this animal. So I'm very pleased how he actually pass, passes this exam, this is a final, final goal because we practice so much work, so much, so much methods. We pass three levels right now, a foundation program, and slash we're going to go to the fourth level, just, uh, to round pen riding methodology right now, and be very confident under saddle. Then we're going to start to educate him to performance riding. So he done very, very good job. I'm going to take him out again from the trailer, and we're going to stop lesson today. Very nice. Again. So I'm very pleased with this uh, beautiful, beautiful boy. I love him to death, and I'm probably going to keep him as a stallion. And he done amazing, amazing work. I'm very proud of, uh, proud of Slash. So we finish our education, and the third level, develop confidence and solid mind. And we're going to go forward. Good boy. <laughs>